Two products we're checking out today. Kirkland Signature San Marzano Tomatoes, made and grown and also harvested in Italy. And these are the Paisana Organic Castle Vetrano Pitted Olives. These are also a product of Italy and certified organic in Italy. These are both awesome. Let me show you the San Marzano tomatoes. This is a flip top pull open can. Just peel it back. Can is a pound, 12 ounces of tomatoes. Here's a shot of the labels. The tomatoes are the DOP. You can see they're beautiful, they're whole peeled tomatoes. I'll be putting some and making a little simple spaghetti sauce so you can check awesome. that out. Here's the ingredients. San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes, tomato juice, and basil leaf. No preservatives, no other additives. You can see the sodium, 65 milligrams. So they're not throwing all kinds of junk in here. These tomatoes are good to go. They're healthy and very tasty. So I got a simple, simple pasta sauce going here. Got cherry tomatoes. I like to also brew some of these green olives in the sauce. I find that the olives soak up some of the sauce flavor and get a little nuttier taste in there. So this is one of the uh, San Marzano tomatoes. This is one of the San Marzano tomatoes from the can. You can see it's whole. What I like to do is when it cooks down a little bit, I like to press them, press them in half. And I find that that makes them dissolve into my sauce. You can see the beautiful seeds. Really, really great tomatoes. Probably one of the best canned tomato products out there. What else I add to this is uh, black pepper, a little salt, Costco uh, virgin olive oil. You gotta get some basil and a key critical ingredient is always gonna be oregano. Most Italian cooked foods, oregano is a winner all the way. A little bit more about these olives. You get a really great glass container. I use these to store a lot of things. You can even put beverages in there. Many, many uses. This label peel, peels off very easily. So these will be reusable for many, many years. You could also theoretically, if you empty the olives, pickle your own olives, pickles, any other vegetables that you want to pickle as well. Uh, this is 17.6 ounces. No artificial dyes or colors, you just can't go wrong. These are, uh, I think about $5 at the warehouse. The tomatoes come in a, I think it's a three pack and they are also extremely reasonably priced. They're a couple dollars for each can and they will make a base for any tomato recipe. Any recipe that calls for tomatoes is a beautiful base. Pro tip here, when you empty the tomatoes into the pan, you're gonna have some of this beautiful red sauce left in here. So I put a little bit of my filtered water, reverse osmosis is what I like to use in here. Swirl it around a little bit to pick up all that nice juice on the sides there, and then add that to my pan. Now from here, you can either go pasta, spaghetti, you have many options. You can use this for a lasagna once it cooks down. I've heard from my uncle Phil, the real Italians, will boil their spaghetti sauce with two sausages in the sauce, whole sausages. I'm not sure about piercing or crumbling them, but at least that's what I remember. All right, so I've decided to go with some pasta here that I had in my pantry. This is uh, Little Elbows, and this is Penne Regate. Now these two pastas are actually American made. Uh, they're from North Dakota. I bought these a while ago uh, from Costco Business, maybe four months ago. And I got them in 20 pound boxes and I broke them down and I contain put them in containers, different types of containers, uh, just to have some groceries on hand, you know, for those of us that 
were in the U.S. and lived through the early stages of the pandemic here, and you realize how important it is to have extra groceries on hand at all times, and it became very difficult during those early days to find pastas, dried goods, um, groceries, some many types of groceries were selling out. And you never know what's gonna happen, it always pays to be prepared. So I, I try to keep a good stock of dry goods. Costco helps with that. These are American made, American sold, uh, which is always my preference in all my consumer products. If I can get it, we can't always get it, but I like to buy those products that uh, are American made. And surprisingly, it's tasty, uh, it's good quality, it's clean, cooks pretty easily, no real preservatives, and it's a good price through uh, Costco. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be adding these directly to my sauce without boiling them in water. Now, a couple reasons for that. One, I don't wanna make another pan dirty. Who wants to make extra pans dirty? Number two is the actual water from my sauce will get soaked in to the pasta. And it just, I mean, you're talking about flavors on flavors on flavors. So all of that rich tomato, oregano, basil flavor all just gets soaked into your pasta. And if you haven't tried this, you need to be trying this. You need to be cooking your pasta this way. So here we go. Here's my basic sauce. It's been cooking now for about an hour. It's reduced. You can see my cherry tomatoes are deflating a little bit and injecting all that lovely goodness right into the heart of the sauce. So I'm an eyeball cook. So I'm just going to eyeball what I need here. And we're just going to give this a nice stir. And this pasta will expand as it soaks up all that lovely goodness, this pasta juice right into the actual shell. So we're gonna mix this, then we're gonna leave it covered. It takes roughly double the time to cook your pasta in your pasta sauce, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I got time on this project here and it's worth it for the flavor, so you know, there's not going to be a set time limit. You're just going to have to eye it. You can take some out here and there and, and test them. Uh, remember the old trick, you throw your spaghetti against the wall and see if it sticks. Some people like it al dente, which basically just means it's firmer to the tooth, the pasta, and uh, it's a little bit underdone. Um, I like to try to see how close I can get it to being cooked to all the way through, uh, not al dente, but with this method, it, it generally does come out a little bit al, al dente because you're probably gonna get hungry sitting here watching this thing, waiting for it to cook. So, which is good too, but uh, we'll put it on low heat now and cover it. All right, this is about 20 minutes. You can see here the pasta has soaked up all of the excess water in the sauce. This is almost ready. Now, this is a lot. This is a lot of pasta, but the other thing you can also see is I didn't add any meat. There's a couple of reasons for that. So what I will do with this is I will freeze a couple servings and then I will make a few servings uh, for the week. And whatever meat I want in the week, I can just cook that up, chicken, steak, whatever it is, and I'll have pasta to go with it. If this had meat in it, it wouldn't last as long in my fridge and I'd be more limited in the things that I could use it for because it, you know, would already have meat. I know that some people would say, well, put meat in it and just make your meat when you make your meat. But, you know, there's a, there's a balance here. So I, I think cooking it this way uh, provides a good balance and it gives me the options I want to have different meats later. So this is done now. Uh, the pasta is nice and tender. I added a little sprinkling of oregano and some black pepper. Now, I'll probably get beat up by some real Italian people, but I do put a little bit of corn sometimes in my pasta. I like the little textural difference from the corn kernels, and it gives it a nice little uh, flavor change and kind of resets the palate from the heavy tomato flavor. 
So that's my quick and easy basic pasta. You can adjust anything you like in this thing. You can add stuff, you can take stuff out. I mean, this is such a universal dish that whatever you have on hand, you can throw sun dries in there. You can toss in some shrooms, any other veggies, anything. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a really great base for a meal. Like I said, I'll freeze some. I'll have little servings throughout the week. Share with friends, share with family, uh, made with love and pride. And this is great stuff. The tomatoes taste excellent. Pasta's good. The olives are kicking. What more do you need in life? So here it is. A couple notes. Really good to add some cheese on top. Serve that with whatever protein you're having. Um, the flavor is just all of the flavor from the sauce gets sucked into the noodles and the pasta. So this is a real winner. Can't complain about this and uh, it'll keep me fed for at least a week or two.